Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're playing episode number 12 of uh, our PGA Tour career. We have made it to the Masters. We are at Augusta National for the first round of the Masters Tournament. We're coming off a tied for 8th finish at the Canada Classic. And Mama's Basement and the PGA Tour are proud to present the opening round of the Masters Tournament live from Augusta National in Augusta, Georgia. Ross Fisher, the leader at the moment with Brendan DeJong and a couple others at three under. Of course, we are super early as we kick off our round with hole number one. It's a par four. And we are tied for 31st on the leaderboard. The first shot from 453 yards with the driver. As our first ever Masters tournament is underway. And we split the fairway on the opening drive. Shot number two from 166 yards out, wielding an eight iron. And softly onto the green, a very nice approach. Leaves us with a 13 foot putt for birdie, breaking downhill and a little bit to the left and we leave it very short, a little bit tentative on our first putt here. And a little two-footer for par. And we open up the tournament with a par on hole number one. We head to hole number two. It is a par five dog leg left. Wind blowing a little bit from our right to the left. 548 yards on this par five. And once again, we hit our drive right down the middle of the fairway. The driver has been on lately. Ross Fisher has birdied to go to four under and lead the tournament by himself at this point. Second shot, 230 yards out with a three iron. Wind at our back this time. And it pushes it into the crowd. And off the green. Here is a chip onto the green for a green and regulation. From 15 yards out, and we stop it just short of that slope that might have taken it off the green. So we have a seven foot putt for birdie. Slightly uphill, breaking from left to right, and we bury the putt for the birdie and go to one under. Hole number three, we are tied at 19th on the leaderboard. It is a par four. Little cluster of bunkers on the left. And one bunker on the left protecting the uh, left side of the green, which is where the flag is placed. And off the tee, it looks like another pretty solid drive. It might be going a little bit to the right, but it will hold on to the fairway. 349 yards is this hole. And our drive goes just over 300 yards. Second shot from 47 yards out. Somewhat of a blind approach. And it looks like we overshoot that left edge of the green. It looks like a fidget spinner. Our third shot coming back from 11 yards out. Leaves us with a short putt for par, about three feet. Hole number four, it's a par three. We remain tied for 19th on the leaderboard here at the Masters. Feeling a little bit of extra pressure here to try to make the cut here at our first Masters tournament. First shot, 248 yards away from the pin with a hybrid. Wind is blowing out just a little bit and it is going to take us past the flagstick, but we will hold on to the green. 11 foot putt for birdie, breaking downhill fairly sharply a little bit from left to right. And we make the putt to birdie hole number four. So on to hole number five at two under. We are tied for sixth now, moving our way up the leaderboard. First shot with the driver. Wind has died down. 
And then this drive is just short of 300 yards, again right down the middle. Second shot from 149 yards out with a 9 iron. Trying to put some backspin on this one. We get it to stop, but it does not come back much for us. And we are on the green in regulation, but we've got a 17-foot putt for birdie. And it is just barely going to be to the left. Very good lag, though. So we par hole number five, and we're on to hole number six. It's a par three. Still tied for sixth on the leaderboard. Elevated tee box here. 182 yards away from the flag stick with an eight iron. And we do not like that approach as we uh, come up a little bit short. And then a little chip gets us onto the same plane as the hole on a very undulated green. So we're able to par that one. It could have been worse. Hole number seven now is a par four. And we have dropped a couple spots to tied for eighth. 446 yards off the tee. And once again, we split the fairway. Driver's really working here early in the tournament. Ross Fisher remains on top. Here's our second shot on the approach 117 yards away. 52 degree wedge, we get this one up in the air. And it's going to hang on to that back edge of the green. As, uh, we might be underestimating the effect of the little bit of breeze that we had at our back. 28 foot putt for birdie. And we roll it a little bit past it. It's going to leave us a 6 foot putt coming back uphill for the par. So, so far we are bogeyless. And 2 under for the first round. Hole number 8 is a par 5. Very slight dogleg to the left. Fairly narrow fairway. First shot, 542 yards with the driver. And a uh, little bit under a 300 yard drive. Second shot with a three wood now of this par five. And that one is fading to the left a little bit. It bounces out of the rough. It will end up just on the edge of the fairway as we try to chip it up. Roll it off that little hillside and onto the green short of the flagstick. An 18-foot putt for birdie now. Going uphill. And just barely short. That will leave us a little tap in for par. So through eight, we remain at two under. Hole number nine as a par four. Couple of bunkers on the left side of this green. 437 yards off the tee with the driver. First shot. And this one is also going to stay on the fairway down the left side a little bit. As you can see where the fairway makes a turn there. So we're going to have to get this one up over that bunker unless we want to uh, try to fade it in. And we go over the flag by quite a ways. And from the fringe we're just going to chip it. Catch a little bit of a downhill slope. It's going to pick up some speed here. And we are still a long ways away from the pin. A 32 foot putt for par. And we just barely roll it past the right side. So we're going to see our first bogey of the day. At least. And the three foot putt for bogey goes down. So we drop a stroke back to one under as we make the turn here at Augusta National, hole number 10. It's a par four. 
We are tied for 20th on the leaderboard. Elevated tee box. Here is the shot off of it. The wind in our face now as it was at our back through the whole first nine. And this one is the first drive that's going to end up off the fairway on the right side. Second shot with a seven iron, 181 yards out of the rough. And we do get it up onto the green, but not super close. 35 foot putt for birdie this time. Breaking left to right, and we hit it extremely short. Again, another very tentative putt. Worried about the speed of these greens. Here is the eight foot putt for par and it goes down luckily. We par the first hole of the second nine and we're on to hole number 11 at one under. Hole number 11 is a par four. Kind of a narrow window between the trees to get this drive through. But we are able to find the fairway. Second shot with a pitching wedge. We are above the green a little bit from 148 yards out with the wind at our back. And we do get it to stay on the green. A 27 foot putt for birdie. This one is also downhill just a little bit breaking from left to right. And it just scoots past the left edge of the cup. Leaving us seven foot coming back uphill for par. And we are able to sink that one. To remain at one under and tied for 20th on the leaderboard. Hole number 12, a par three. At one under. A little pond protecting the front of this one. 159 yards, a very short par three with a pitching wedge. We get this one up in the air. There is no wind here. We're protected by the trees. And this one is going to hold on to the green. Not a bad shot, but it is not necessarily super snug. 18 foot putt for birdie. Breaking from left to right and sloping very slightly downhill. And again, another extremely tentative putt. Four foot putt for the par. So we par the first three holes of the back nine as we head to hole number 13. Par five. If I'm not mistaken, this would be A-Man Corner, but I very I could be mistaken. I don't remember which one A-Man Corner is, but this one's a pretty sharp corner here. Pretty sure this is A-Man Corner. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I might be wrong. I should really look it up. I don't remember. Second shot with a hybrid, 235 yards away. And we do manage to reach the green in two. So it'll leave us uh, two putt for birdie. So this one is a 47 foot putt for eagle. Breaking downhill and the slope is pretty steep. And this one picks up a little bit of speed to the right of the cup, but it does. I believe stay on the green here. So we have a nine foot putt for birdie and we miss that one. So it is gonna be a three putt for par or worse here. We do make the putt for par. So disappointing not to gain a, a stroke on that hole. Hole number 14 is a par four. As we remain at one under on the day and tied for 20th on the leaderboard here in the opening round of the Masters. Off the tee, 432 yards with the driver. Wind is going to push this ball from right to left. But it splits the fairway. We've only missed one fairway so far today. Second shot from 151 yards out with a 9-iron. Breeze picking up just a little bit. And this one is going to... Uh, miss the green, I believe. As you see, Ross Fisher holding on to the lead at four under. Here's the chip to try to get back on the green and give us a chance to go up and down for a par. And it's going to be a difficult one as we don't get it necessarily very close. 
to the pin. So it's going to be a 15 foot putt for par breaking left to right and uphill just a little bit and we do miss it so we're going to end up with at least a bogey and a bogey here will put us back to even on the day as we drop yet another stroke on a par 4. Hole number 15, a par 5. We are now tied for 31st. The end of this round, we just want to be in position where we can make a run at making the cut and make sure we're here on Saturday and Sunday. First shot off the tee box with the driver, 515 yards. As we get this hole underway, par 5. Over 300 yards on the drive despite the wind. Leaves us a second shot at 207 yards out. And we approach this one with a 5 iron. And this one's going to fly the flag stick a little bit and roll off the back edge of the green. 13 yards on the third shot. We're just going to chip it on and hope we can get it to stop. And we do an 8 foot putt for birdie. Breaking from left to right just a little bit and we do make that to make up for the bogey on that last hole so we've got three holes left in our first ever round at Augusta National par three on hole 16 we've got some water in front of the green shouldn't come into play unless the wind is really blowing that way and it kind of is in our face so first shot from 170 yards out with a seven iron and not a bad shot leaves us nine foot putt for birdie and this one just trickles past the hole and leaves us just a couple feet back uphill for the par so two holes left hole number 17 a par four we have climbed back to tied for 21st at one under Wind blowing at us. First shot from 433 yards out. With the driver. And once again, we find the fairway. Second shot from 166 yards with a seven iron. Into the wind and again, we fly the green leaving us a little chip to try to get up and down for a par and this one we chip it over the hole it catches a slope that just takes it away and uh, nearly runs it off the green 17 feet coming back uphill for the par and we miss that so just as quickly as we get back under par we bogey again to drop back to even for the tournament final hole number 18 it's a par four we are even on the day even for the tournament this is round one of the masters tied for 31st on the leaderboard trying to put ourselves in position to make the cut in round number two. First shot off the tee on 18 with the driver and it looks like we're going to find the fairway again. So we only missed one fairway on the day. And the second shot with a six iron. And this one goes over the green into the gallery and out of bounds. So we're going to have to take a drop. Therefore, this is shot number four with an eight iron from 172 yards out not the way we want to end round number one this time we come up short but that's a lot better than uh, overshooting it into the crowd for out of bounds so here's the putt for bogey coming uphill and we sink it from 14 feet out so we avoid a complete disaster on the final hole and we end the round at plus one as you see we were 35 going out coming back in 38 plus two 
So plus one on the day, and that's where we will be at as we head into round number two of the Masters. And we will get that one to you tomorrow. So look for that round number two of the Masters coming up tomorrow from Augusta National. As you can see, we are 49th. Going into round number two, so we could use a good round to try and make the cut. Hopefully we can finish below par. I believe the cut will be there. I don't believe anybody over par is going to make the cut. So we need to improve a lot in round number two. So join us for that one tomorrow on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming. It'll be round two of the Masters.